Hi guys, welcome here again to another interesting news. Uh, it has just been said that the same way we have Boko Haram terrorizing in the northern part of Nigeria, the Yoruba Nation and IPOP are also a major threat for us in the southwest and southeast. This is a statement from the Nigerian military headquarters. Of course, you might be wondering in what way is IPOP and the Yoruba Nation a threat to the Nigerian military headquarters that have made them issue this kind of statement saying that uh, Boko Haram in the north, the same way they are threats to them, that is the same way we have Yoruba Nation and IPOP being a major threat to us also in southwest and southeast. Welcome you again to another interesting news. We like you to like, share, comment as you enjoy the full details of the news. The defense headquarter Abuja has said it has recorded successes against terrorist bandits and other criminal suspects across the nation in the year 2023. Addressing newsmen during the end of the year briefing on troops' operational activities from January to December 2023 on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Christopher Musa, the Director, Defense Media Operation, DMO, Major General Edward Buba, stated that the major threat in the southeast and the southwest was the secessionist agitations of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and the Yoruba nation, respectively. According to Buba, the major security threats within the year 2023 were terrorism, armed banditry, kidnapping, oil theft, secessionist agitations, and farmer held clashes. He added that during the period, troops neutralized 6,886 terrorists and other criminal elements. Troops arrested 6,970 suspects, rescued 4,488 kidnapped hostages, as well as recovered 3,320 assorted weapons and 39,075 assorted ammunition. Additionally, he said, Troops recovered 100,316,600 liters of crude oil, 60,339,426 liters of AGO, 3,465,450 liters of DPK, and 3,544,990 liters of PMS, which is the Premium Motor Spirits. The threat dynamics were, however, defined along geopolitical zones, with some permitting across the regional lines. The predominant threat in the north, central, and northwest region is armed banditry and terrorism, while the Boko Haram terrorist, ISWAP, that is the Islamic State West African province, lingering insurgency, remained the main threat in the north. East region. The major threat in the southeast and the southwest was the secessionist agitation of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and the Yoruba nation, respectively. The south south region continued to experience oil theft, cultism, and youth, you know, restiveness. However, Acts of criminality such as kidnapping, armed robbery, communal clashes, and cattle rustling were common across the six geopolitical zones. It is pertinent to point out that most security threats in the country were fueled by the proliferation of small arms excavated by the influx of illegal arms and ammunition through our various borders and the preponderance of local arms fabrication factories in the country. Those the armed forces' kinetic and non-kinetic efforts were geared towards tackling these threats in all the geopolitical zones. He disclosed further the security situation in year 2023 has remained fluid, complex, and dynamic with the threat morphing you know, in form of scale. The unpredictable nature of the threat and the attendant demand for stability has continued to pose significant challenges for security forces. Consequently, 
Various forces have continued to evolve tactics, techniques, and procedure (TTP) to professionally respond to these threats. The armed forces have been developing the desired enablers to overcome the country's numerous threats. He however noted that the application of the kinetic and non-kinetic effort in collaboration with other services and security agencies has continued to shape the operating environment in which we are in a dominant position. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this pen development? We've just heard what has been said that the agitation of the indigenous people of the Afro IPOP and the Yoruba nation respectively is another threat to the southwest and the southeast. In fact, it's not just another, but it is a major threat for us. That's what the Nigerian military headquarters have said that, like Boko Haram in the north, Yoruba nation and IPOP are major threats for us in the southwest and southeast. What is your own reaction to this plan of development? We would like you to share it with us via the comment section, but before we go, let's see what people's reactions is to this. It's obvious that the Nigerian military have been overwhelmed and overstretched. Hence, too many excuses to explain away their failures. That is what Rafael Odoi have said in a quick reaction saying that with this thing that the Nigerian military have said, it is now obvious that they have been overwhelmed and overstretched. Hence, too many excuses to explain their failures. They are giving different kind of excuses just to explain away their, you know, their failures. And the reaction from Evangel Constant saying that for real, this is because IPOP is not politically decay and their truth is that Nigerian government have refused, you know, have, the Nigerian government have refused to say the truth. Let the truth stand and peace will reign. This is another powerful reaction from Evangel Constant saying that for, for real, that is because IPOP is not politically you know, decay and for as for the truth, the Nigerian government has refused to say the truth and that is why Nigeria is still the way it is. Say the truth now and peace will reign. What is your own reaction to this? Another reaction from Ido Samuel saying that it's a lie when Nigerian you know when Yoruba nation pardon becomes a threat. That's the end of the beginning of the amalgamation again. Know that and no peace. Yoruba is a loving and caring people. Any day the Yoruba becomes a threat, just know that Nigeria is finished. That is what has been said by Ido Samuel. Different reactions from different persons. We would like you to share it all with us via the comment section. Don't forget that, like Boko Haram in the north, Yoruba nation, IPOB are a major threat to us in the southwest and southeast. That's what the Nigerian military headquarters have said. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not, 